Hello, hello, hello. Is that okay? Don't know. Hello everyone. I'm a bit nervous about um, filming this because it's going to be different. I'm really conscious about the way I come across in this video and I want it to just explain how I'm feeling right now. I don't know if it's really obvious but I'm fed up and I'm sick of saying that I'm fed up of YouTube but I am. I've been thinking of a couple of ways to chat about it because I don't just want to ignore it, I want to sort of address it and try and work on it. I don't want that to sound unappreciative towards my subscribers because so many of you leave regular comments and I reply to every single one because I don't get very many at the moment so there's no excuse for me to not reply to you all and I genuinely enjoy replying to you all. What I'm going to do today though is sit and do some artwork and talk to you at the same time so that it's not just me having a grumble at the camera. My hair needs a wash today hence why it's all scraped back and look a, a bit like a peanut. But what I thought I would do is there's a drawing in my art journal um, so the first couple of pages I actually did like fox studies and I really like this guy here how foxes sort of pounce so I thought what I would do is paint with coffee today. Now what I've got is um, this cheap stuff from Aldi that we got ages ago because me and James love coffee but we try not to drink too much of it because it's not really that good for you is it really we prove we try <laughs> and then we replace our caffeine intake with tea I don't know we just try and stay away from coffee because James gets headaches with coffee and I get addicted to coffee so I don't drink it that much anymore what I'm gonna do is mix up a couple of different sort of saturations on a paint palette so I've got a really dark heavy coffee and then like a wash and then another one and then I'm going to just sit and chat to you whilst I paint and try and film things from a different point of view. I've got a cup of tea, typically, and some chocolate buttons left over from last night so I'm going to sit and eat those. I'm just going to set myself up and then I will crack on. Is the drawing that I've already done as a reference because I really want to get that arch in his back down to a T. I want this to be quite sketchy looking because it's like an experiment so it's not going to be a perfect illustration. <laughs> I'm just concentrating now getting the basic shape and then I'm going to start talking. You want to get the, um, the reason I did fox studies was I just love the way they move. And I really wanted to capture like that spring in his step. Right. It's so nice and quiet, I can't believe I've not done this before. Sometimes it's really easy to just get lost in the sound of technology all the time and it's not nice something I've really been struggling with I also love how on like dogs and cats and foxes anything on four legs really like wolves um, that sort of thing I re like big cats too I realised that anything on four legs was a bit broad because elephants don't move like this do they? obviously <laughs> I just love the joints like in their elbows and their legs and how they move like they're springy. Rabbits like fascinate me how rabbits move. I also um, forgot to show you guys I got a new paintbrush the other day. It's a Winsor & Newton Galeria one. It's synthetic hair as well. Um, I will be doing a video at some point on vegan art supplies because it's something that I didn't think about until very recently but yeah this is a cruelty free paintbrush and it's an absolute dream. It's so fine tipped, like I've had fine tipped ones before but this one is just something else. But it's absolutely amazing so I'm going to be using that at some point. I'm just going to pop it back in its cap though so it doesn't get damaged. The other paintbrushes I'm going to use are just these cheap ones. These are Royal and Landnickel ones. I've shown these before in a video but they're some of my favourites. I've been using these since college, um, art college so they're like a, a good go to. What I've done is mixed up quite a dark coffee and then I'm going to mix up a lighter coffee as well just so that I've got a nice like wash to use. So going back to the paintbrush just slightly, I did actually, um, I think I put it in a weekly vlog, I can't actually remember now, but um, dare I say it, I'm getting bored of weekly vlogs. Let's just move my water so that I don't upset you guys too much. 
yeah I'm getting bored of weekly vlogs and I've not even been doing them that long um they're just boring the hell out of me I'm just so bored of watching my own life um every single week doing the same old thing and I know that it's it's very easy to just be like well go out and do something then but I honestly I'm at a point I'm at a stage rather where I don't know what to do I've got lots of ideas and I feel like I've got it's one of those situations where I feel like I've got that many ideas that I just don't know where to start. Oh, coffee's so nice. It smells amazing. Yeah, I've got that many ideas right now that I just don't really know where to start and I don't know what direction to take everything in. I've been focusing a lot on my artwork recently, which I don't know if that's really obvious. Um, but I mentioned a few months ago that I was bored of makeup videos, I was bored of doing the same as everyone else. And that's no disrespect to everyone else, people that like to do makeup tutorials or fashion hauls, whatever, it's everyone each to their own, do you know what I mean? But it's just not for me anymore. And I'm starting to feel that way now, I'm trying to become more of an art channel and I love doing videos like this is what I've wanted to do since the very start but I think I'm lacking in confidence which is making me not want to do it and it also doesn't help that I've been suspecting for a while that YouTube aren't putting my videos into people's subscription boxes because views have been that low and that crap comments have been quite low um, and a lot of people have said you know like don't focus so much on the numbers and as much as I try not to, those numbers are what encourage me and tell me what people do and don't like. So from the stats from my last three videos of me doing painting and speed drawings and things, it's kind of telling me that people don't like to see that. And that's okay. Not everyone's going to like everything that I put on my channel, that's fine. But it's been happening now for months and I feel a bit disheartened and very disconnected and I don't know what people want to see <laughs> camera just cut out I feel like I'm, I'm doing this now for nearly two years guys and I don't feel like I've learned very much <laughs> in terms of like filming and things I feel like such a novice and now I've completely forgot my train of thought but here's a perfect example I've just watched a bit of footage back on my camera to see where it cut me off and I've started to hate the sound of my own voice again and it's something that I, I had to really get over it in order to put videos on YouTube anyway. I've hated my own voice since the very first time I remember hearing it. Um, I've just, I've hated it and it's something that people always comment on as well. Um, I don't mind, obviously, I don't mind the odd comment, obviously, saying, um, oh, you've got such a cute voice. Um... And that's and that again is no dig at anyone that's ever said that in the past. I don't want that to sound like I can't take compliments well or anything. It's just that I struggle to take it as a compliment. And now I'm getting older, it's becoming more and more difficult to just accept the fact that my voice is really soft and really high. And I don't know, do people think I'm putting it on or something? I'm not sure. But it's it's got harder as I've got older because I find that people don't take me seriously and I notice this when I was going through my mortgage when I was trying to buy this house with James and we were I had to make a lot of phone calls because I was the one at home most of the time I was actually off sick with a hand injury so whilst the house things was going through I was the one at home having to make all the phone calls and imagine this voice you guys ringing solicitors and ringing estate agents and arranging meetings and going to view houses and it, it just is ridiculous it's I can't, you can see the look on people's faces um, when you talk to them, when you make appointments. People have said to me before on the phone, oh, are your parents in? No, I own this bloody house, thank you very much. And it, it just makes me feel incredibly self-conscious and it's something that I'm trying to work on. I'm feeling self-conscious in general at the moment and I have been since the start of the year. I don't quite know what happened so putting my face on social media feels really really hard again and I don't know why I don't know what's happened 
I don't think it helps, to be honest, that YouTube don't make it a very nice place. It doesn't feel like a very nice place sometimes. YouTube has made me feel recently like it's somewhere that I don't want to be. And I've tried uploading to Vimeo. Um, I've got a couple of videos on there. Um, I think you have to pay for it. Um, if you want to upload more than like one five minute video a week. So when I've remembered, I've actually uploaded a video. <laughs> but it's only been a couple of times. But um, without wanting to sound like a princess, it's just another social media platform that I cannot be bothered to keep up with. I hope I'm saying this right, but Vero, is it Vero? That went viral a couple of weeks ago, it's like dead now. Maybe it'll spring back, and maybe because I'm not on it, all day every day like some people might be it might it might be the next big thing but I already run two Twitter accounts two Instagram accounts one's personal one's business and I don't want to have to open another video account I spend time on Twitter and Instagram because they're the most valuable in terms of my shop and being a small business and trying to get some custom and things YouTube gives me very little in terms of that I do YouTube because I used to enjoy it I used to enjoy it a lot but now it's started to feel like oh I have to take my camera with me everywhere I have to get my camera out I have to capture that moment I worry that my life isn't interesting enough to be online and then that sort of makes you start to question oh it's that it's that horrible syndrome that makes you think that you should be doing things by a certain age and social media is a poisonous environment anyway you end up looking around people thinking, well, why aren't I going to the Maldives? And why aren't I on exotic holidays here, there and everywhere? And it's the same with YouTube. I feel exhausted trying to keep up. And I don't, I don't know what to do from now. I'm actually really enjoying this style of video, so do let me know what you think. In the comments I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing right now you guys I'm literally just putting coffee on some paper and enjoying the smell because it smells amazing it smells really good right now I really like the effect it's having as well on watercolor paper and being able to layer and working with just one color feels really therapeutic I feel like I've changed as well like um, should I get a bit more darker coffee? I might just put oh, a little bit on here. Like just pure granules with a little bit of water. What happens then? It's getting really dark. Oh yeah. A while ago, I actually unsubscribed to a lot of channels. Back in the day, I started watching Zoella when she first was on YouTube. I remember discovering her. I was at my dad's house. And... I can't remember how old I must have been, how old would I have been? But I remember instantly falling in love with this girl. I absolutely loved her. And then naturally I discovered the rest of the people in her group. And um, I really liked Louise, I liked Louise the whole time. Eventually I just unsubscribed from them all because I felt myself becoming so disconnected from them. I mean you start to overthink things like oh I can't not subscribe for them. You can, you can unsubscribe. If things aren't making you feel good and you're not enjoying them, unsubscribe. If you guys aren't enjoying what I'm doing now, unsubscribe. It's okay. It's not a lifelong contract. I'm not going to be offended. I mean, numbers have been going down a lot recently as well and I think I've just become a bit desensitised to it. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, that's life. But very recently I've got back into Louise because I feel like she has... She's so mature and I love her content right now. I don't know whether I'll love it for another year. I don't know, I might only love it for the next couple of weeks but I've really been enjoying her weekly vlogs. And that's what I mean by people change. Sometimes you go back to people, sometimes you don't. But there's very few um, channels and things I enjoy watching these days. Off the top of my head, I've been watching Louise a lot past couple of weeks I've just been really loving watching her and baby Pearl and Darcy and just seeing how happy Louise was because I think the last time I was watching Louise was when she was going through a breakup and that was quite painful to watch and I, I really felt for her but I've got back into her now 
and I really like Helen Anderson. I think she's fun. I like Velvet Ghost, but only sometimes. I like her vlogs. I don't like her tutorials or anything, just because I don't like tutorials. It's not her. I just don't like tutorials. And I love Meg, Meg Morris. Meg is my favourite weekly vlogger, without a doubt. I just find her so relatable. We've got so much in common. I hope one day we get to meet because I just have a feeling we'll get on so well. Abby, I know Abby will be watching this as well, but if Abby had a channel, I just know I'd like that. I'd love Abby's channel. My friend Vicky started a YouTube channel and it's documenting her um, development of her camper van that she, she bought a van, literally a standard work van, and she's kitted it out, I cannot believe it, she's kitted it out, and it looks like a mini home inside, and I'm so excited to see what else she does with it, but she made a channel to document the progress, and eventually she wants to like travel around in this van, and it's going to be amazing, I'm so proud of her, I'm just talking, just ranting, getting it all out, all out in the open. <laughs> because I didn't just want to sit and whinge to you guys and I've had a lot of feedback recently around the, the more relaxing videos seem to do really well and you guys have told me that you really enjoy them so thank you so much because I've been trying really hard to think of new ways to film hence why this one is yet another new way to try and um, fall back in love with making videos Obviously I love art halls as much as the next person. I love any kind of um, stationery and gifty, homey bits. Not so much fashion. I'd rather, I'd much rather watch a home haul or a stationery haul than a Primark one these days. And I used to do a lot of Primark hauls, literally once a month was it. Um, I took a lot of them down now actually because they just make me cringe. I love ASMR as well, I've said that before, but um, I don't think I have it in me to start doing an ASMR video, I think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to, yeah, I haven't got the confidence, I'm just going to say how it is, I haven't got the confidence to do ASMR, and I praise everyone that does, so <laughs> relaxing videos, um, all I can seem to manage is painting with pretty music in the background. This is great by the way, I mean I'm having a great time right now. If you guys have never painted with tea or coffee, oh, it's so relaxing because it smells great too. I just picked up the wrong paintbrush. I'm not going to overwork it either, I literally want this to just be quite a rough painting. Something that I'm struggling with right now is spending money on my YouTube channel. My um, new screen has come from my camera, I just need to, I've had a look at it and I think I don't want to tamper with it myself, so hopefully my father-in-law will be able to help me out with that. But I went to Hobbycraft a few weeks ago and was looking around all different art supplies and I was like, oh, I'd really love to try block printing, like carving my own stamps, making my own wrapping paper, possibly sending you guys some of the things that I make because I think that would be quite nice. And it was like 30 quid just for the, the starter kit and that was with one colour of ink. And we've uh, had a lot of bills this week. We just paid off our car finance, car tax, MOT and then it's our car insurance at the end of this month as well. So I was like, no, I need to kind of prioritise a bit. That's adulting for you. But um, yeah, I really want to try some new things. So maybe when I've got some spare pennies I'll get one of those kits and we can do that together. But then I thought today, why don't I just paint with coffee? Got some coffee in the cupboard and some paper lying around. It's not going to cost anything, is it? It's a bit of a different way of just chatting away to you guys. It's been snowing all weekend. And I keep hearing massive bits of snowy ice falling off the roof. And it sounds really scary. It feels like someone's in the roof, but it's, it's just the ice falling off. But it's so loud. Right, I don't know if I can get it dark enough with this coffee to paint his eyes and nose. I might just finish it off with a black pen for the eyes. What do you think? Maybe I'll get my black pen. That's not the one I want, that one's going to bleed. I've also been struggling with a bit of inner self-critic recently and it was 
it's not been so bad during March, but definitely during February. It was really hard, and I've been suffering with a bit of depression as well. Um, I don't really want to go too in depth about that because, oh, <laughs> I don't know how. And then I watched Meg's video talking about depression and made your hats off to that girl for just being so open about it because it's something I really struggle with. Um, but yeah, um, Inner Self Critic has been an absolute nightmare recently. There's just been this thing telling me, oh, you're just not good enough. You'll never get any further than you are now. And it has felt like I'm just going around in circles sometimes. And that's what I mean as well by social media being a bit poisonous sometimes. It's not just, oh, that person's on holiday, that person's got nicer clothes than me, that person's got a nice big house, that person's just got married, engaged, had a baby, blah, blah, blah. It's also, um, it's great for following artists, but then you see so many talented artists that you start to think, oh my God, I'm nothing compared to them. And that's been making me sort of go around in circles a bit and I've had to teach myself the past few weeks to just lay back a bit hence why on a Monday morning I'm sat drawing, painting sorry, with coffee because I'm trying not to care so much I'm trying not to care so much about standard and being perfect and showing only the finished pieces and the perfect pieces because it's not all about that. And this is so fun. I can't believe I've not thought about this before now because I'm having such a good time. It's so quiet in my house right now, you wouldn't believe. And it's nice to just turn the computer off, turn the phone off and just talk to you guys. Right, I keep saying I don't want to overwork it and I really don't but I'm just going to turn you guys around so you can see it a bit better there we go you guys painting with coffee and here is my journal entry for the foxes so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I really did I think YouTube as well is just so big now that there is that definite feeling of why would anyone want to hear my opinion why would anyone want to sit and watch me do artwork. Why would anyone want to watch me when there's that person there doing it better? And I'm trying to break out of that mindset and just go back to being myself. But yeah, have an awesome week you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you thought to this style of filming. And yeah, have an awesome week and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye!